All right, this is a wild one. There's been a large security exploit uncovered affecting a bunch of Linux systems, including anything that uses the XZ library, which is one of the most used compression libraries on the internet. With a ton of people talking about this on the OSS security mailing list, let's discuss who's been affected because there's many of you, including the likes of Red Hat and Fedora, Arch Linux, and Debian users, as more and more distros are coming out with security bulletins. First off, we'll talk about who seemingly discovered it. Andres Frund has a subject here, backdoor and upstream XZ lib LZMA leading to SSS server compromise. So this is really bad as we all know. The SSH server or open SSH server is of course a package that allows for a remote access connection to our systems. So how did XZ affect SSH server and create this backdoor? Well, after Andres was observing a few odd symptoms around lib LZMA, part of the XZ package on Debian SID installations over the last weeks, logins with SSH taking a lot of CPU, Valgrind errors, I figured out the answer. The upstream XZ repository and XZ tarballs have been backdoored. So how is this possible? How did something upstream get compromised in this fashion? Well, there's actually a breakdown of that below, which is fantastic. As a compromise release tarball, one of the portion of the backdoor is solely in the distributed tarballs. For easier reference, here's a link to Debian's import of the tarball, but it is also present in the tarballs for 5.6 and 5.6.1. That line is not in the upstream source of the build to host, nor is build to host used by XZ in Git. However, it was present in the tarballs released upstream, except for the source code links, which I think GitHub generates directly from the repository contents. So what's happening here is it's an, actually an injection. And the way this person seemingly found it was because of CPU usage and Valgrind errors. For those of us who don't know, Valgrind is a specialty tool that helps you discover memory leaks. And it's odd that the XZ package would have memory leaks. Therefore, whenever they discover this, they started questioning what was going on. Basically what happened is a hidden script was being executed at the end of the configuration, which was being injected as test data and actually compressed as an XZ file in this repository. So in a source build directory for lib LZMA, in the make file contained some of the bad faith scripts, which would then add in malicious code that was attached in an injected.txt file. The bulk of the exploit are in obfuscated form in two test files, bad three corrupt lzma2.xz and test files good large compressed.lzma, which were committed upstream. Again, the user found this not by being some kind of reverse engineering hacker mastermind, but subsequently that code that was injected was causing Valgrind errors and crashes in some configurations and it threw up a red flag. So there have been many affected systems by now. And there's a lot of information here, but we need to start talking about which systems were actually affected and whether or not you should be making an update to your system. As said, upgrade any potentially vulnerable systems ASAP. Thanks to Andres for finding this. And as I mentioned, there's a ton of conversations going back and forth about this. How did it happen? How did it get past everyone? We'll first talk about Red Hat. Urgent security alert for Fedora Linux 40 and Fedora Rawhide users. Red Hat has issued a security bulletin. Latest versions of XZ tools and libraries contain malicious code that appear to be in intended to allow unauthorized access. Specifically, this code presents in XZ versions 5.6 and 5.6.1 libraries. They even go as far as to say, just please immediately stop usage of any Fedora Rawhide instances and wait for the update so it can get reverted to a unaffected version of XZ. And at this time, Fedora Linux 40 builds have not been shown to be compromised. Continuing on to Debian, another bulletin from the security advisory board at Debian that says, right now, no Debian stable versions are known to be affected. Compromised packages were part of the Debian testing unstable and experimental distributions with versions ranging from 5.5.1 alpha up to 5.6.1. This package has been reverted to use the upstream 5.4.5 code. So unless you were testing in the Debian testing or unstable SID branches, it doesn't seem that you were affected, but any users running Debian testing in an unstable are urged to update the XZ utilities package. 
right away. Moving on to Ubuntu, there's even a moderator note that the question relates to a rapidly evolving current event. It has been protected to prevent unrelated banter and answers that do not benefit the post. Basically, someone's asking, does this vulnerability affect Ubuntu LTS or any other Ubuntu release? And the answer currently is no. Reasoning, the Ubuntu Discourse and Ubuntu CVE tracker does not have it yet. Debian and AWS do. AWS has version numbers affected. Highest version we have is 5.4.5. So again, we don't run the risk since it currently, as of now, only affects versions of XZ utilities 5.6 and 5.6.1. And that statement is parroted by one of the community council members and an Ubuntu developer themselves who has reached out to Ubuntu security contacts. There can be a potential for in-development release such as new 24.04 beta images potentially having the 5.6 XZ utility backdoor. You'll definitely want to make sure to check and see no matter what system you're on, whether or not you have the particular XZ affected tools. I'm gonna to show you how to do that in a moment, but make sure to smash that like button as we all wanna remain updated with the latest and greatest in exploits that are affecting us. There's been many write-ups already about the XZ utilities backdoor, and one of the best ones here come from the same Sam, and in the write-up we get a background but really what we're looking for is this too long, don't read. If you're using a .deb or RPM based distro with glibc and any version of XZ 5.6 or XZ 5.6.1, you should update right away, especially if you're using SSH. And then regardless, if you're using SSH, you should be checking which versions you're using. There's a wonderful breakdown of everything, including the code that caused the issue and who was involved. A secondary post here, which we'll talk about in a moment. Here's how you can tell if you're running the affected version. You can do XZ space dash dash version. So my spin up of Ubuntu, I'm gonna start up a terminal and just show you how to check your XZ version. We'll just do XZ space dash dash version, press enter, and then you're gonna get version numbers out of it. It's gonna give you both XZ which currently here is 5.2.5, so I'm not affected, and libLZMA 5.2.5. Again, the two known versions that are affected are currently 5.6.0 through 5.6.1. So if you have one of these two versions, know that you're affected and make sure to upgrade or revert the utilities as soon as that's available. For the time being, you'll probably wanna make sure that OpenSSH is not running that way someone could make a potential remote connection through the back door. Again, this is still developing, so whether or not there's more versions that have been affected, doubtful but not improbable. Many people are publishing this information as it's recently dropped. Another great post here about this vulnerability which can allow for an SSH backdoor for arbitrary code execution. If you wanna check the web to see if your current system is infected, you can also check using Repoology. What this does is it tells you whatever repositories you're using to get your source packages, you can check out which repository you're getting your packages from. If you know, for example, here's Alpine Linux, depending on which version of Alpine Linux, it tells you exactly which version of XZ utilities, libraries, documents, etc., that you may or may not have. You'll typically have these caution signs if something's outdated or it's compromised. Anyways, you can check here, for example, that the AUR, which is known for being the repository for Arch Linux, does have some versions in particular with these packages that contain 5.6.1 or 5.6.0 of the XZ utilities. So you would wanna make sure to update if you that's where you're getting your packages from. Again, you can check this out. Notice here that it doesn't look like Debian's affected but there are many, many more to look into as we are all using so many Linux distributions. Arch Linux has also posted the XZ package has been backdoored. Too long, don't read, upgrade your systems and container images right now. They tell you exactly which installation medium was affected, which virtual machine images were affected, and which container images. Anything between 0224 
2024 and 03 28 almost a full month here in 2024 has been affected so you must upgrade your system there's also instruction on how to upgrade your system if you're using arch linux's container images system and how to update and rebuild containers again one more shout out to andres for find, finding this as it could have gotten much worse and thanks for the analysis of the injected code as they say i'm not a security researcher nor a reverse engineer there's a lot of stuff i have not analyzed and the most of what I've observed is purely from observation rather than exhaustively analyzing the backdoor code. They go into quite a bit of detail here. We're not going to discuss all of this, but I will leave a link in the description below to everything that I've visited here. That way you can check and make sure to update your system. Don't sit on this one. It is important to keep your system patched from these types of large security exploits where people don't believe that they might be infected Next thing you know, you're going to have crypto malware running on your computer, and who wants that? Anyways, stay updated out there. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple-to-read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.